Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you step by step process how we can use WAVE. You will have timestamps down below in the description so we can actually skip parts that you understand and if you have any questions guys just ask me down below in the comments. So let's start. The first thing you want to do is just simply click sign up for free. Now I want to sign with a Gmail or normal mail. I'm going to sign with a normal mail. Get started. I'm going to save it. When you're gonna open account you need to add a name i'll add my business name what i do i will go with the financial and professional services and country i'll go united states and currency usd let's go next what do you like to do in wave and now i want to manage accounting and send also invoices how do you currently manage your accountant? I haven't started. Do you currently work with a bookkeeper or accountant? I prefer doing it on my own, during payroll, not. What type of business do you have? I will go with the soul. Get started. So the first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to learn how to use dashboard. Then I will explain to you what you can actually find in the left menu. And then we will go further. So let's start. In dashboard, you can find the cash flow, cash coming out and going out of your business. When we are going to create invoices, um, etc., you will see the numbers here. So we will like see it updated in this video. On the right top corner, you can see create new and you can actually create an estimate invoice, recurring invoice, bill, customer, vendor, product or service. When you go further down below, you can see profit and loss, income and expenses only includes pay unpaid invoices and bills. And here you can like add a customer, add a vendor. We will get to it too. And when you scroll down below, you can see payable and owing. Invoices payable to you. And bills you owe. And then net income. Income, expenses and net income. And there you get expenses breakdown. So this is how the dashboard looks like. Now on the left side, you would see your personal account. That you can actually like add a new business here. Or business that you are already in. And you can manage your profile or you can sign out. Then you have sales category here. And this is the first thing that we are going to look on. Estimates, invoices, you can create recurring invoices, checkouts, payments, customer statements, customers, products and services. Then we have your purchases where you can get bills, receipts, vendors, products and services. Then we have accounting here, transaction, reconciliation, chart of accounts, or you can hire a bookkeeper. Banking, you can connect your accounts and payouts and insurances. Then we have a payroll here in which you can run the payroll, employees, timesheets, payroll transactions, taxes, tax forms, and COVID-19. Reports, wave advisors, or you can have tax filling. And you can also hire the wave advisor. And you can do the tax filling through the wave. So let's go first to sales. In sales, just click here on products and services. Here we are going to add our first product. Name, I'm going to name book. This is the book. And I'm going to change the price to 50. And sell this. Income account can be consultant income. And buy this. And expense account is going to be like office supplies, right? And sales tax, we're not going to have that. Click save. So this cell can simply add a book. Or you can like also add whatever you want. Then let's create a customer here. And now I'm going to add a customer. Customer. Mark a stone, email, like this, contact, currency, euro, or we can go again, USD, address, okay, shipping, more, you can add like website, internal notes, etc. Like creating customers really easy. Let's click save. And now I can see my customer here, paid last two months, 12 months, total unpaid, 
last item sent was this and then i can find like invoices here so this is how i can find my customers and i can create invoice directly on the customer but we will get to it then we have customer statements here and then i can find the outstanding invoices and account activity then we have a payments here And you can turn on and you can accept all major forms of payments. And then you get checkouts here. Directly from your website. No coding required that you can actually add to your website. Let's create estimate now. In estimates is really easy. Just go to the top right corner. To create an estimate. Right here estimate 1. Choose. We are going to choose the current the customer that I created. Currency OK. POSO that you can add subheading footer again memo that you can add or you don't need to items i'm going to choose the book quantity one price 50. voila i just click save now how simple was that right and now you have options to you can convert to the invoice you can custom view how it actually looks like you can print it or download the pdf really easy let's go back you can send it using gmail yahoo outlook or you can share the url again you can export it as pdf or you can send it with wave or you can delete it print it duplicate it right and this is how estimate works quite simple let's go to invoices in invoices on start you can upload your logo so i'm going to upload a photo that i got here like this now you can simply change the color of the template and you can also change the template i'm going to choose this one this looks pretty like medieval <laughs> let's create it and now i can simply add a customer i'm going to add the one that i created invoice number one again i can add a poso number invoice date payment due i can add an item and yep yeah. And I can also add a tax. Then you get a footer here that you can add like information. You can simply click here, save and continue. And now you see it here. So this is a draft invoice. You can take further actions once you approve it. I can approve the draft. Okay. I can send the invoice. Last and never. I can do schedule reminder after due date three days seven days 14 days get paid okay i'm going to send the invoice two i'm going to send it to my personal email message one send okay so i send the invoice and i can get a paid so i can charge a credit card and i can turn on payments you can do it if you want to and here I see how it looks like. And what you can do is when you would go job again, you can enable online payments. Or you can do more actions. You can make it recurring. You can export this PDF or print it. Or you can simply create another one. Now what you can do, this is the same process. You can simply enable and create recurring invoice. And this is the same thing, like I'm not going to show it because it's the really, really same as invoice, but it's only recurring. But this is how you can actually generate invoices. So as I can see, I got state sent today. Number one, amount due, $50. And let's see. I can see right here that I got the invoice on my email. I can view it temporarily. And voila, I have it here. So you are previewing how your customer will see the web version. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to open in incognito mode. So this is how it looks like. Print, down PDF. And this is the invoice that I have to pay. So yeah. This is how we can form and create invoices. Now let's look on purchases. The first thing that we are going to do, that I'm going to create a vendor. Right here, vendors, I'm going to add a vendor. And I'm going to add a vendor name, Marcus Stone 1. 
mark a stone vendor and everything will be similar so first name last name currency i will change the usd okay okay click save so i have a vendor here here when i'm going to click products and services i'm going to find a book but if from the beginning when i was creating the product and i would just edit that i can only sell it i wouldn't personally find it here right so yeah now when i have a vendor and i have also product and services i can go to bills here you can go to the right corner and create a bill and here vendor market stone vendor currency okay poso bill number one 111 choose item book expense category i can change it if i want to quantity i can go with a five i can add the tags if i want to and just click save okay we have it now we see here that we got unpaid you can record the payment payment method i can go bank payment amount can be 150 payment account owner investment drawings or cash on hand click save successful added 150 payment so this is how i record a payment right now to my bill next things are received and you can simply go and upload your first receipt if you have some so i don't have any but this is where you can simply add receipts so this is how purchase works and when i've got to dashboard right now let me show you in profit and loss i can see the income i can see the expense bill is you all invoices public to you net income income expenses office supplies expense breakdown so you can see everything that we did, you can see in our dashboard. In the next part, I'm going to show you how you can use accounting. So when you're going to click on accounting, you can simply click here on transactions. In transactions, you will see all the transactions. And right here, you can switch between accounts that you have. Then you can add an income, you can add expense, or you can click more and you can add a journal transaction. You can connect your bank or you can upload a bank statement. So right here, you can simply click add an income and it will directly you can add a description so i can like this is my income and now which account we want to use it's a deposit or withdrawal deposit 100 category payment received or transfer click save and voila here we got it now what you can do is also add expense this is my expense account i can go cash on hand again deposit or withdrawal 50 right and i can go accounting fees and saved and as you can see, we got all our incomes and expenses in accounting. And now what you can do is I can click here, mark as reviewed. And that's what you can do. Now right here, next thing is reconciliation. And so we can see here, we have cash on hand. I can click get started. Ending balance a month, let's go 100, click save. And right here we can see, so okay, we got two, debit, credit. You can add a transaction. And you can simply merge them, if you can, of course. So yeah. And this is how reconciliation works. It's nothing like mm, different, right? So statement balance, wave balance, and the statement balance needs to be 150. And then you just merge it. And this is how reconciliation works. Right now, this is just as a demo account. 
but I think you just understand it. It's like nothing hard to understand. Then you can have charts of accounts here. And when you can actually see the cash and bank, you can add a new account, money in transit, inventory, property, vendor prepayments and vendor credits. And you can simply add a new account for everything. And then the next thing is hire a bookkeeper. And this is how accounting works. Uh, payroll, I'm not going to talk about the payroll in this video because there will be another 20 minutes or so like 15. If you're interested, I can create a tutorial on payroll. Just let me down below in the comments that you would like to learn how to work with payroll in Wave and I will make a tutorial on it. Let's go to reports now. Reports are really straightforward. Here you can get the big picture. You can see the profit and loss income statement, balance sheet, cash flow. Then you can stay on top of the taxes, sales tax, payroll wage tax report, focus on customers. You can see income by customer, age receivables. You can focus on vendors, purchase by vendor, aged payables. You can even dig deeper, account balances, trial balance and account transactions. So you got plenty of things here that are like, if you want them and here you would go with the profit and loss and you have like report here so i get income cost of goods sold operating expenses 200 dollars net profit is minus 150 i can change the date range here i can change the report type i can update the report if i'm going to change the date and then i can simply export it as csv or pdf so I'm going to export as a PDF. I'm going to open it and voila, here we got a really good report. Pretty easy, right? So I would click again on reports. I can go again and find the sales tags here or income by customer. And I can see it right here. And again, I can go to top right corner, export and PDF. And this is pretty much it. So this is how reports works. It's nothing again, like hard to understand and I think you are smart enough to uh, get a hold of it and the learning curve is much lower comparing to quickbooks or xero in my opinion because wave and also with the fresh books are much easier programs to understand because they are intuitive then the last thing is that you have like banking here that i missed up uh these are like connected accounts and this is that i didn't make really tutorial on it because again you just add here your bank account and you just connect it with it And then you get like payments here that you can accept again. The last thing is that you can actually uh, like have Wave Advisor. It's going to like give you advice if you want to. And then you get the text filling here. File your taxes with confidence. And you can simply file the taxes if you want to. You can file it by yourself or with the tax advisor. The next thing is that you're going to have integrations here. In integrations, you can simply add with Google Sheets, Blue Camera, or you can even go with the e-commerce with Shopify, Square, or even Stripe. And you've got really, really plenty of integrations that you can use. Now, next thing are settings. That you can like change the invoice customization, change the users here admin editor payroll manager that you can like invite someone receipts here settings and then you can like dates and currency that you can add and change and sales tax also with a payroll and you can export the data on the left bottom corner as you can see here so this now had how settings works you can also manage the profile in left top corner and you can change simply the name the province and also the password and change notifications and also find your businesses here that you can actually create a new business and this is how the settings works and how the integration works it's nothing like hard to grasp in my opinion so yeah thank you very much everybody for watching if you have any questions guys ask me down in the comments i hope this video was helpful i really enjoyed making it and i think that right now we just know exactly what to do and how to do it and yeah so have a great day and goodbye thank you for watching see ya